What's going on YouTube? Bendable Straw is back with another video for you. Today we're going to be going over Season 7 of Cosmic Crucible. I know you guys can't wait to hear the details, so let's get started. In number 1, we have Full House and The Cabal. My recommended team for this is going to be Extreme Phoenix. On defense and offense, Striker characters with ability block will gain 50% damage. Raider characters on turn if this character has ability block, clear ability block, and heal self for 10% of max health. And skirmisher characters on successful attack apply ability block. The global rule is the Cabal. On defense and offense, Cabal characters with vulnerable on a successful hit apply vulnerable up to a maximum of 5. When below 25% health gain 200% extra damage and lower armor by 50%. Villain characters on turn if any Cabal characters or allies barrier for 10% of max health. And on defense, all characters gain 20% max health and 10% damage. And of course, after every attempt, you do become exhausted. Moving on to Raid on Crucible. Oh my goodness. On defense and offense, all characters. Room counts as Raid. Lower resistance and healing by 50%. They lowered the resistance because of that whole Death Seed by Frost thing. Crazy enough, I'm actually going to be trying APOC by Frost in here again and seeing how it fares because I'm not necessarily worried about the resistance, but so much as the focus of, say, a Hive Mind with a Void Knight coming in with less than 200% focus because of APOC or literally anybody to, to take the first turn on an opposing team. But for now, this is ultimately what I'm going to be putting in there when they fully release. Spider Society has not let me down. I can tell you that with the utmost confidence. But at the beginning of the season, I'll be putting in an APOC Bifrost. Whew, it's going to take the world by storm. So in room number three, we have Agroad. On defense and offense, all characters all in turn. If this character has taunt, gain offense up. On turn, apply assist now to all allies with offense up. <laughs> so, on turn, if this character has taunt, gain offense up. On turn, apply assist now to all allies with offense up. So, Lizard spawns with, guess what? Taunt. He's going to get offense up. He's going to take the first turn. He's going to spread everything to his team, and then all of them will fall back in to assist. I'm not necessarily sure if that's going to happen on the first turn, but it's going to be pretty crazy. All right, moving on to unstable energy. Oh, and of course, I do recommend a gamma for here or pretty much anything that gets an offense up. I was also considering doing an unlimited X-Men in aggroed simply because unlimited X-Men has a lot of offense up when Sunfire gives everybody offense up. Everybody will assist. And then he does his ultimate to where everybody assists again. Just keep that in mind. Unstable energy in number four. We have on defense and offense. Villain characters, ultimate abilities cost two less ability energy and lower the max health by 25%. And of course, the global rule is the global rule. In here, I sort of want Quicksilver to be able to ultimate and throw some RNG out there. I'm not necessarily looking for a cap ultimate, but I fear that might happen in this room. And of course, we're going to have uh, a jump and uh, another jump from Red Hulk. And also, this Black Knight ultimate does a lot of damage. If Cap is able to give him enough uh, energy, he'll be able to pop off. But this is still up for debate. I'm not necessarily sure what other folks are going to be running in here. Maybe even in their own superior six. I'm not necessarily sure. All right, moving on to Flashbang. This one is going to cause a lot of controversy simply because I've been I've been telling people that Death Seed on defense is absolutely crazy. People call me crazy, but this room is pretty nuts. On defense and offense, all characters with blind lower that character's speed by 5%. Magneto will ultimate and lower the entire side by 5%. So what happens there? In a mirror match, if you're blinded, you lose 5% speed. So guess who goes next? Not your Magneto, my Archangel. 
and it's going to be ridiculous. Ultimate abilities apply blind on primary target and Magneto will ultimate. Archangel will ultimate. Dark Beast is going to ultimate. Psylocke is going to ultimate and Super Scroll is going to special and then ultimate. So this is just one for consideration. I mean, you could probably use a team that's going to be self-sufficient and going to be ult ulting all the time anyway like an infinity watch or something like that or hmm, realistically anything that has blinds to it uh the, when i read blind the the first thing that came to my mind was death seed so we're just gonna have to see how it plays out i'm really excited for this season my goodness and last but not least we have crossroads on defense and offense all characters on crit apply bleed to primary target if Ghost Rider, Ghost Rider Robbie, or Cosmic Ghost Rider is an ally, and if that character has bleed, gain 20% armor. Ghost Rider Robbie, Ghost Rider, and Cosmic Ghost Rider allies gets applied 20% crit chance to all allies. That's pretty impressive. So in here, I have a Secret Defenders. I was going to throw a Noir in here for that. But since Noir is now a member over here with the Spider Society, it can work for now because Apoc Bifrost will be in here. But you're definitely going to want Noir over here to sort of thwart the new warriors. Maybe throw an extra wrench in there if you can. Oh man, these room rolls are going to be absolutely insane. I'm really, 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 really curious to know what people are going to be doing in the raid on Crucible Room. It's going to be <laughs> one hell of a show, I'll tell you that. And also, in this full house room over here, I sort of wanted to go over this. So, see how Phoenix is a striker, and when she pulls everything in, she's, gonna, she's going to um, gain 50% damage. It's not necessarily worth it, because there's not anything really there to put on her, sadly. But I was also considering putting a uh, skirmisher on everyone because you don't want an ability block from any of these guys. But since I put Raider on everybody, on turn if this character has ability block, clear ability block and heal self. So Forge is going to be removing an ability block. Nightcrawler is going to be uh, getting rid of an ability block on a successful attack. That rogue is going to be putting an ability block, and this gambit is going to be putting an ability block. So they're going to be clearing ability block and putting ability block, as well as having their own ability blocks as backups. It's just something to consider. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you guys are very excited for these uh, season rules. My goodness. Uh, this aggroed room, I can definitely see becoming a problem. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. And as always, I'll catch you guys in the next one.